Hey guys, Vikrant here. Hey guys, Akshay here. And today we shall be discussing the automotive production engineering course at TH Ingolstadt. So Akshay, first of all, give me a general overview of the course. It consists of uh, 12 subjects for two semesters and one master thesis. So you can basically finish the course in uh, one and a half year and then you can directly go for the jobs. So it, it's of 90 credits, yeah. Okay, and the course is completely in English, right? Yeah, the course is in completely English and uh, uh, there is no t tuition fee for the course. You just have to pay 42 euros for the student union fee. And if you want to buy bus pass or anything, you you have to buy from the INVG. It's Ingolstadt Faircase Gazelle Soft. That is, that is the bus uh, operator of Ingolstadt and it, it costs uh, 111 euros for six months. Oh, that's really, really cheap. Okay, let's go on to talk about the course itself. So the first course that you would have to take in each semester, in the summer semester, I think, is advanced manufacturing technologies, right? So we had the entire course based only on 3D printing and how different 3D printing methods are taken and how they, they help in building prototypes and building real, real world parts. So it was more focused on 3D printing and yeah, rapid prototyping, I would say. All right. The second course, engineering processes in automotive. So the engineering processes in automotive, it's not as it sounds. Uh, it's not about the processes that you do on the cars. It's more about the back processes, like uh, lean processes that you, you that you implement in the suppose assembly side, and more about uh, if you, if I say specifically like kaizen, kanban, and all those processes. So it's more of uh, the quality processes of the automotive companies and automotive manufacturing. Uh, the next one, industry production and logistics networks. So the, the, as it sounds, it's more on supply chain and logistic networks of the automotive sector. How these these two words, supply chain management and logistic network, are affected in the in the sector of automotive. Okay. Uh, cost engineering and risk management. What is that? So cost engineering. It's as you know, like in every uh, in every automotive sector, you have some cost evaluation. You have to prepare some. BOMs, bill of materials, and the cost report and everything. How, how your process are, uh, are going to affect financially to you, and the cost contents also the risk management side. Like, you, if you are starting any project, any and if you are doing any project management, uh, you have some risk involved also. So uh, it involves how the risk are are being applied on the automotive side and how you can avoid the risk during the manufacturing and all the process, not for all the manufacturing, but from the beginning to the end. Okay. Uh, I see that you have to take a scientific research seminar. Uh, so scientific research seminar is like the basic course that uh, is offered in our university for every 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 course. And in that course, uh, we, we get to choose one topic. And in that topic, we, 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 we need to do some research and everything. And then we need to prepare one paper and we have to present that paper and we have to give at the end we have to give one presentation so it, it's more about to 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 be developing uh, the scientific side of the student and how you properly write it and present it uh, what was your individual elective so for me uh, actually i came to germany late which month uh, actually my course every every time my course starts on 15th of march but i came in the first week of april uh, in 2017 so by that time every individual elective were taken for the from the other students so my option was, was to take an individual elective subject next semester and if i talk about that course it was very 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 fascinating course so the individual elective for me was sustainability in supply chain management it was six it was six days of course only one week uh, for four first four days we visited six different companies in the Germany, including Audi, BMW, Kronos, Osram, and they they told us how their supply chain management is affecting the sustainability of the of the world. And at the end, we we need to write one report and we need to give oral examination of just after studying from the companies for five five days. So actually, there were not not any classes. We just we just saw the presentation of the companies and professor asked. Uh, in, in the in the oral examination from this presentation. Okay, and going on to the second semester, technology development and innovation management. 
so in that course uh, you get to know about different technologies and if you have any idea how you will develop this idea from the root to the very end so it's more about that okay that is nice to know production system and plant design uh, it involves how you design the plant uh, so you have one big automotive plant and you have to design everything as per the quality and standards so and how you design it safely and worker friendly so it was yeah more about plant design of the automotive sector okay next course automation and equipment technologies so that is like there were like two different courses was they were they were merged in one course so the automation side includes more about uh, the robotics and plc programming and the equipment side includes uh, the die design and the press work that that you that we have in the automotive industry for making chassis and doors production management and optimization that sounds nice so that course is solely depends on uh, it's more focuses on production side of the automotive automotive sector so in the production side you have different lean management techniques that are being implemented in different companies and the root of these techniques uh, is toyota japan so we de- we learned all the toyota toyota the techniques all the from toyota like ishikawa kanban uh, everything in in the production side of automotive sector okay and the last full course i think is digital technologies in engineering what is that so it's one of the courses that includes little bit of designing and final element analysis so in the in the automotive automotive side you have the r&d sector so it was a little bit of overview of how the r&d processes work in the automotive sector and how they design from the root to and and the to test and, be, and in between you have like katia katia modeling and then fe analysis and cfd cfd analysis and everything so it was more of like a little bit over your r&d processes of automotive sector okay and also you had a group project to do right uh, every winter semester they offer two group projects and they divide the 24 24 or 23 batch of the students into two groups so actually my group project was about developing a small cycle or so to Uh, to help the hikers if you see uh, there there are, there are many hikers in germany they 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 hike a lot in summer so they they go up and when you when you when you want to uh, come down uh, we we had to design one cycle to, so they can sit on that cycle and then come down so it was basically uh, it was basically a group a uh, good experience in the point of view of project management time management and yeah also i was a part of in design and simulation side so it was very very good of yeah it was very good experience so the third semester was a complete master thesis semester let's discuss that in the next video but for now that was a general overview of the automotive production engineering course at th ingolstadt see you in the next video bye 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 guys